going to do 10 and the video you're going to be watching in the background is going to be a two and a half minute chem strike. Playing hardcore on the map Tremor and I decided to play some hardcore again today. I don't know, I just felt in the mood to play it. And it is actually quite a bit of fun. I got a few gameplays on it today. I do get some awesome clip. Um, I got a six man feed with this MTAR class right here. I turn around, I get a triple kill and then I jump around the corner and then get another triple kill to get the six man and it was pretty awesome. Maybe I might put up a little like mini targe or montage or something one day. I don't actually have many clips at the moment, but I did actually save that clip and I have a couple of others saved up. So who knows, maybe in the future there could be a montage slash mini targe. But in today's video, I do want to speak about a certain topic and that is panic knifers. And to be honest, I'm just getting really fed up with panic knifers right now because recently I've just been dying to panic knifers over and over and over again. You guys saw my rage montage, I got panic knife like four times in the same game and you could tell that I don't really like Panic Knifers too much just from that and to be honest it happens way too often especially in this game because you can just knife lunge so far like I wouldn't be surprised if you could knife lunge further in this game than you could while using Commando in Modern Warfare 2 just because it's really just a joke like the second you come in 5 foot radius of someone you're guaranteed dead just because all the noobs aren't using tactical and all they have to do is press a slight little button and they can knife lunge you about 16 billion yards away and to be honest, I don't know whose bright idea that was from Infinity Ward, you know, just considering, you know, everyone that seemed to really, really love Commando and Modern Warfare 2, didn't they? They loved it so much, it was everyone's favourite perk. So I think it was actually a really great idea, they decided to basically implement the exact same thing into COD Ghosts. So yeah, well done Infinity Ward, thank you for really listening to the fans when creating COD Ghosts, because, you know, it really helps make the game what it is today, and that's absolutely amazing. No, but seriously, jokes aside, Panic Knife is way too overpowered, and I'm pretty sure all of you guys can agree with me on that factor. And I don't get why they why they haven't nerfed it yet, just because um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been complaining about it. They have been doing IED nerfs quite a lot, which I am um, happy about, just because, you know, IEDs are blatantly overpowered. And they just use the camp, really. That's the only reason why anyone would want to use an ID, is just so they can camp in a corner and have a little thing that blows up. Um, to cover their back. But anyway, that's a different topic, and Panic Knife Finn really should get nerfed, because they've nerfed the CBJ recently, which I absolutely have no flipping idea why, because it's pretty much one of the worst guns in the game, although, in my opinion, the worst gun in the game is the ARX. I cannot stand that gun. I hate it so much. But I'll probably go over that in a different commentary, because I do, or hopefully, have a relevant gameplay to talk about that. But I did just get the chem strike right here, so if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.